Hello everybody and welcome back to Death and Destruction. Where I have nothing. Mode is useless. Did you guys already die? Switch to that. can't tie it down I can like shoot it with one type of arrow and that's it so uh, yeah I've been trying for like 30 minutes to kill this thing and I can't so I and I even changed up like um, tried to change up like my 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 gear and stuff to use what I had but turns out I'm just 
I'm just gonna buy a bunch of a whole bunch of crap. That's what I'm gonna do. Ooh. Oh. But oh, item provides unlimited fast travel to discovered campfire. <laughs> Why am I ever doing that? Okay, do you sell fatty meat? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, interesting. I did kind of maybe want to get the, if I can. Yeah. Shock, freeze, melee, projectile points. I don't want to wear it yet. I have that one. I don't have that one, but I don't need it. I don't have that one, but I think I'm okay without it for now. I don't have a bellow back heart. Oh my gosh! I guess blinding and sonic effects. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna get this one. Oops. Equip later. Did I? I think I actually bought what I wanted. Nora Brave, Silent Hunter. Should I get? Ah, oh, I can't get the. Awesome spark worker. That's the spark one, though. The Banuk. I did get the Karja Blazing Heavy, Karja Blazing Light. Okay. Okay. And I'm wearing the Sickness Eater. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so cool. I can't wait to get the upgraded version. I want that one because it's pretty. No true Osterum pulls out projectile points. Shock. Okay. Star Wars. The Banuk. I think we have everything oh jeez okay yeah uh, come back here guy I just need like a hundred yeah a hundred that's probably too many Perfect. 50. Okay. We used up a lot. Okay. But now we're actually ready. <laughs> and off we go! Back to the place where we were! Yay! Now I'm coming at them from behind.
okay, I, uh, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> that was a my bad. Angered the rock breaker living up the canyon that I killed already, but apparently they just respawned. I know that's where it supposedly, like, lives. Can I just, like, take this thing out from up here, maybe? Probably not, but... I could give it a... Give it a... What for? Haha! -ha. It's so hard to see off in the draw distance. It's like it knows that I'm trying to take the, like, high ground against it, and it's like... Or is it, like, trying to go after them? I'm over here, you coward! Come back! Oopsie. Oh, there's another gun up there. <gasps> oh, that tail's mean. Alright, got both disc launchers removed. I need to get that off the other gun on his face. Nice. Okay. We have effectively neutered it. is not going as well as I would have
forgot all about this gun. before you charge me. Oh my gosh, it's been corrupted, right? So that's like really sad. <sighs> You're darn dupe nourish level 33. All right, I am literally gonna loot everything in this area. Oh my gosh, and if you think I'm not... Oh, oh hey, haha, I did a thing. Yay. I'm glad that that worked. Like as like a... An extra thing like or, or, or it, it went together with it you know what I mean you know what I'm saying drop I need to actually use some of these. Oh my gosh, I haven't killed the last guy. He's like, what happened? Am I, uh... Incoming. Oh yeah, buddy. Not today. Freaking health potion. Just now, of course. I want to carry that around with me. I think that one actually didn't have anything left. Maybe he did. We're literally picking up everything. I'll be back when I've picked up everything in the area. I think that was the first time we've beaten a thunder jaw, so congrats to us. I just the whole time I've been like, ah, because I don't have stuff. I don't have anything. What even is this like pile of crap? I mean, it was at the uh, it was at the mine that we saw. the first place I saw it was was at that mine where we killed the rock jaw thing. But, I don't know what they are, really. Those piles of, like, weird rocks and dirt. Oh my gosh. That was a fight. That's taking me soon enough. about an hour or more. Including the last time when I didn't quite, when I didn't beat it in the first part where we saw it. So dang! God dang! Wait, wait, wait. I need. Could you? Would you mind? Okay. 
Oh, hey. Oh, wow. Oh, I am so sorry. We got a fatty meat. Which is what I need for that, like, permanent fast travel thing. Yeah, you hold on a second. You, you caused me no end of trouble. You. Oh, hey. Not exactly a royal bar. Ah, it's okay, I love you. Well, defectors can't be choosers. Let's get aboard, shall we? Me too? I guess if I go with them, then Avad will probably let them in a little easier, but... I guess I'm not going. Can I go with you? Okay, okay. I look so good in this Banook outfit. Yeah, let's stare back at the Conqueror. I don't think we've beaten one before. I think I usually run from those. Ooh! Okay, wow, though. This is, like, huge. Also, I didn't have to help with the extraction at all. Really. Like, getting her out of the palace. Getting her and him. Even Hi! Thing. Maybe even ended a war. Can we get married? Maybe. But my war just keeps going. Oh my gosh, we're destined. We're destined to be together. Oh my freaking gosh. Don't tease me like this. Why do they tease me? This is really dramatic. This is a long, dramatic moment we're all having here. Stop teasing me. Are they gonna let us in? I assume if he sent his, like, guard that they're gonna let us back in. I was curious how Avad felt about his... I don't know if this is his mother or a different mother. But at least it's his little brother. Oh! My brother. Welcome home. You have nothing to fear. You are now under the protection of the Sundom. My protection. As is your mother, she will not be harmed. You have my word, the law of the sun. Aloy, it seems I see your influence everywhere. <laughs> You've done so much for the Sundom, and it will always be appreciated. You have my thanks. May you walk in the light. I thought he was going to hug me or something. I was like, I don't know if I can handle that. Also, I'm getting married to this lady. Go by, little baby. Be happy, little baby. Appalling. I spent two years in the Forbidden West setting this up, and the <laughs> redhead gets all the credit? Oh, that's true. I'm still getting paid, right? You'll be lucky if I let you live. I couldn't have done this without you. When we meet again, I'll give you a proper thanks. Pro like, like a kiss? Like, uh... Like getting married? Oh, hey, look at this. Hang on. Okay. Hang now on. they have no claim on the throne. Yeah, no, this is, uh, oh, I, this is, have I, I've not been here? Where are we? Oh, we are, oh. Okay, this is, this is an area I had not been. Interesting. Okay. And we floated down this river. I hadn't been to this dock area. I thought we had, like, I guess it makes sense. There's not really, unless we, I thought maybe we had arrived here, to be honest. And then, like, we were gonna cart ourselves up, but. Yeah, you, there better be new quests. There better be some time for me to say hi to my loves of my lives and, and maybe the little baby. Little baby boy. Oh boy, there's a lot of reading. Mm, hey, okay. After the vanishing of the Radiant Erev and his cohort in the West, the Radiant Basadid ordered a mighty fortress built at the Sundown's farthest reach. His luminance chose to build atop ancient ruins, reasoning the ancients must have seized upon the location for a strategic value. 
Of the ancients, their works of too smooth gray stone and strangely carved metal were collapsed or built over, and the catacombs sealed off. Only the stone ring, perhaps used for some unknowable ritual, was left in place to serve the garrison as a training ground. Even though its builders and soldiers lived in fear of the land where the sun goes at night, the finished walls of the fortress were mighty and unshakable. His luminance and his high priest, the irrefutable Peshman, named it Sunfall under the blazing eye of the sun, and by the light it was good. None doubted the radiant Basad's prudence, nor denied his lingering hope that his brother might one day be sighted again, but no great threat would come from the West in his lifetime. Nor did it come for the next three generations, though records show the men of Sunfall fought many battles and with scroungers skulking in the rust, wa rust wash, and a dangerous stampede of behemoths in the long term. In time, Sunfall slipped from common memory until the sixth year of the eleventh Sun King's reign, when the radiant Marzid himself came to inspect it. In the desert heat, his luminance received a vision of an ornate citadel, with a dome of metal so polished it would greet the dawn and catch the rays of the sun's last shining at dusk. At once, he ordered the dedication of the Sundom's resources to building the structure. After its construction, his luminance took the citadel as a summer palace, bringing with him many members of the Sun Court, nobles and artisans. In time, Sunfall became a city unto itself, and the great and the source of great works such as the passion of the tall neck among the dunes, that sounds odd, turning seasons at bronze flash and lament for cinnabar sands. The stone training ring was repurposed for shows of pageantry, where young blazons or the hunter's lodge hawks could display the sun's dominance over the machines. Sunfall's prominence in the culture of the Sundom continued for many years until the Sun King Marzad's untimely demise in the citadel he so treasured. For his procession back to the Alight, a line of torches was laid all the way across the daybreak, daybreak, so that over the days and nights of his bearing he might always go in light. The departed king's brother, the radiant Hivas, was wholly occupied with renewing the, solid the soldiery of the Sundom, and with the old Sun King's passing, so too passed this chapter in Sunfall's history. In the early years of the 13th Sun King Jiron's reign, before the falling of his shadow, a particularly harsh season came upon the Sand Whisper Valley. Upon hearing that the storms could strip the very detailing off armor, he decreed that the strongest among his guards should be trained in the deserts here, and named Kestrels. Indeed, Helios, who would become the most infamous of the Kestrels, was one of the first to survive this forging by the sun and sand here. In the 15th year, of the Sun King Jirad's reign, when the sacrifices in the Sun Ring were judged insufficient to calm the derangement of the machines, he presided over the blooding of the ring at Sunfall. A trapped behemoth was driven with spears and spurred over slaves of the Osram and Utaru. When the beast turned upon the Kestrels, the Sun King stood and declared that the Sun, in its great generosity, would accept the sacrifice of the faithless and faithful alike. Oh, how kind. This is terrible stuff. So began a fearful era for Sunfall, of sacrifices unending in its sun ring, and the citadel whispered of as a place where no light shone. Would you guys stop? Many upstanding citizens of the Sundom were taken inside its doors to disappear as surely as if they had journeyed to the Forbidden West. In the last days of Sun King Jiran's reign, Sunfall was in the charge of his kestrels and high priest, no longer answering to the Sundom as a whole. It is no surprise, then, that following the liberation of Meridian, Jiren's loyalists sought refuge at Sunfall. As a fortress, it was impregnable, but cut off from the bounty's lands across the daybreak, it was a city impoverished. So stood the stalemate. In the first year of the 14th Sun King, the Radiant Avad, and so stood Stonefall. Once built to protect the Sundom from the shadow of the west, it now sheltered a worse shadow, the false Karja who dwelt within. Oh, boy. Alright, I, uh, again, don't know how long this one will be. Unfortunately. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go put I'm putting him back in his kennel. Oh, this is so it's so aggravating. So aggravating. Craft additional ammo. I might get that actually. Then I can get more stuff with less. Obviously, but yes, that's what I want. Oh, or I could do that. I don't use the spear much because it's useless. Maybe if I upgraded it, it would be fine. But yeah, these have been some weird episodes. Sorry about that. Hopefully things will... Uh, oh, wait. What did I... Okay. Weird. I was like, I thought I looked at all of them, but maybe it was like, No, look at them again! And I'm... Okay. I should put the... Cur I should put the stuff... Hang on. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna craft. Modify outfits. We have... Just add another corruption weave to it. Why not? Um... I guess... I don't know. I guess 
there's not a lot for the these. This is the fire one. Okay, I don't have many armor ones apparently. Why not? Actually, no. Shadow card job. Sure. Have this stealth one. Weapons. I don't have air. Okay. Damage coil. Damage, tear, handling, and freezing. Do I have another freezing? Oh, just fire, apparently, and tear. Caster. I could increase the damage or just the shock and corruption overall. Yeah, why not? Oh wow, we uh, that was a. Uh, oh okay, I see. Interesting. Rope caster. It has a lot of tear on it. I think. Let's see. Do we have any more? Interesting. Sure. Just gonna go ahead and drop all these green ones. Blue and purple are more than enough. Picked up some green ones. Here, let's see. Okay. Well, okay. Tasty. Did you did you say tasty? Take a look merchant. at these wares. Merchant. No. Well, I would merchant, but this is the only merchant who actually has stuff. Okay, hang on. How much for the shadow? The shadow, yeah, the shadow sharp shot. Okay. Okay. It's not shadow shot. Tutorial. Ho ho. No, I just put on. Getting stuff upgraded. Sun King of Odd Spies say so. Opo. Look at that. We're doing pretty good. Got four out four legendary outfits and four legendary weapons. Pretty well, I'd say. Okay, let's sell that. I guess I could 
Yeah. Prince Edom Since I'm here, I didn't realize how close I was, but I'll just. You'll regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it. Yep. Well. Uh. Yep. Just doing some. Uh... Tidying up. Okay. Oh shoot, I just... No, I just sold those. I did not mean here. I meant to buy them. See if I can remember what I needed for the. I need a stalker heart. Okay, plus the cat. I need a giant cat, basically. Oh yeah, I've got this one, this one, not that one. I've got this one. I've got that one. I don't have that one. So I need a bellow back and a stalker heart. I have that one. I don't need that one. I have that one. Okay, cool. So I have most of the armor I want. Oh, do you have? Oh, I need five, five more fatty meats, but I have fox skins. Okay, sounds good. So again, sorry, um, I don't have, I don't know how long this one will be or not, um, but just crazy stuff going on. You try to play video games at night and record, and then things go. Wah! But thank you all for putting up with it. I appreciate it. Sorry that things were less than smooth with the fights and stuff, like. I went into that way underprepared, but uh, I think I ended up just having to run back and buying stuff. <laughs> so thank you all very much for joining me. I'm finally upgraded. It's like the end of the game, and I'm finally upgraded to the point where I probably should have been a while back. But thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.